Currently, I'm in Copenhagen. I love this place. Everyone here just seems happy. Everyone. The only problem is that I sort of forgot to book a place to sleep for the night. So I went to a Wi-Fi spot and asked the crowd for help. And this guy replied. But the weird thing is, he doesn't know or follow me. And besides this tiny picture, I have no idea who he is. But sure, sounds nice. So currently on my way to the apartment, we're kind of in a rush because he's leaving for a birthday in half an hour and he seemed like a good guy, hopefully it's not one of those catfish moments. Could be there. So Kenneth just left to his party and now I'm here all alone in his apartment and he gave me his keys so I can do whatever I want. His place is really neat. Cool stuff lying around, lots of interesting things and a nice view. However, that doesn't make this a story worth sharing. But this does. See Kenneth, the guy, he had to leave in a hurry for the birthday and he didn't have time to clean his room. So everything was still lying around here. Also valuable things, like this insanely thin MacBook. Or his memory cards, with probably some private pictures. His mail, and even credit cards. It was like I ended up in the fantasy of a thief. He has no clue what I'm gonna do with this stuff. But he just has trust in people. So I spent most of my evening trying to make a tea. Damn thing. Finally, I flipped through some of his books, watched The Office for the 25th time, and went to bed. That morning, after a very good sleep, I hopped in the shower, brushed my teeth, we got to know each other, I gave him a huge thanks. Alright, thank you. <laughs> thanks, man. <laughs> and went home. What a nice guy.